Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss the results of a meeting that was held at the Jamaica Pegasus Hotel on Monday, March 11th to discuss the situation in Haiti. The United States government is providing an additional 100 million US dollars to assist a United Nations multinational, multinational force mission to Haiti to restore stability to the country. US Secretary of State Anthony Blinken made the announcement following a meeting with CARICOM com with a meeting with CARICOM community heads at the Jamaica Pegasus Hotel in New Kingston on Monday, March 11th. He said with the additional sum, the total U.S. support for the mission will now move to 300 million. Another 33 million will also be provided by the U.S. in humanitarian aid. The Secretary of State said the U.S. is in full support of a Haitian-led effort to get the country back to a path of stability and growth, with neighboring countries providing critical assistance. He added that the joint proposal by CARICOM and Haitian stakeholders to expedite a political transition in Haiti has the backing of the U.S. Secretary Blinken said that the U.S. also supports the plan to create a broad-based, inclusive, independent presidential college that would take concrete steps to meet the immediate needs of the Haitian people, enable swift deployment of a multinational security support mission, and through that deployment, create the conditions that are necessary to hold free and fair elections and allow for humanitarian relief for the people. Much of the Haitian capital of Port-au-Prince has been taken over by gangs, with CARICOM playing a lead role in restoring functioning institutions in the country. The meeting included CARICOM heads of government as well as international partner countries. All right, so that's the end of the update article. So guys, what do you think about the situation that's happening in Haiti? And do you think Jamaica should be a part of this multinational force?